Hey, I'm in orbit of, uh, well, not actually in orbit, but I'm just outside of Srinivasa Desha AB2H. So, Srinivasa Desha, if you don't know, is a system that you can only get access to if you have elite, or actually not quite elite, you can be a little bit below elite, I think, two or three steps below. But basically, you need to be elite to get in here, in any one of them. And I've got two out of the three. I'm slowly working on my combat elite. Um, but yeah, the main advantage to getting this is you have a station called... Where is it? Let me go to stations. Jameson Memorial, which conveniently has everything at, I think it is 10% discount? It might have been more. It might have been 15. But anyway, you can literally buy anything, so for a few weird engineered things. But basically, any module is there, and it's on sale. But you can only get here if, like I said, you have Elite. But one of the more amusing things is right here, AB2H, this map. So there's Newman Camp, which is a small planetary port, no big deal, right? But here's the interesting thing. The group that controls it is the Dark Wheel. Now why is that interesting? That's interesting because if you go into the codex, I think, yeah, in the knowledge base, the Dark Wheel. Yeah. So this is in your codex too. Everybody's codex. The Dark Wheel. And I've been trying to dig into this for quite a while now. The part that's interesting specifically is this right here. According to self-professed Dark Wheel expert Lyta Crane, a conspiracy theorist and people's journalist who has been painstakingly assembled an archive of irrelevant data, the original group was based in a disused starport orbiting the eighth moon of an unnamed gas giant. The station was toroid, hence wheel, and operated with minimal power output so as to avoid detection, hence dark. Crane believes that this starport is still in use and is the only means whereby the genuine Dark Wheel can verify its identity. New inductees can examine the records and artifacts preserved there, and thus satisfy themselves that the group has indeed been operating for centuries. No such starport has ever been found, however, and rival experts have accused Crane of forging her evidence in order to maintain the revenue from her billions of followers. Alright, so that's the Dark Wheel. Well, Guess what? Let's go to the map. A, B, 2. What's this? It's a gas giant. A, B, 2, H. H. What's that? It's a first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth moon of a gas giant. Okay. You can't get to the system unless you're elite you're not even going to be invited into the Dark Wheel, unless you're already elite. You have a camp, a new camp, that is run by a faction called the Dark Wheel, which some people say is not the real Dark Wheel, but hey, <laughs> that's interesting. Also, this is the other thing that's here. There is a tourist beacon on the thing. Let's go read this tourist beacon on this eighth moon of this gas giant.
Orbital flight engaged. So yeah, tourist beacons, you know now, they're all over the place. You got a little luggage looking thing. There's a few in this system. They're all over reads. And this is usually how they tell storyline in this game. Give you a backstory. So let's go down. Federation is apolitical. As an organization, it does not interfere with the internal workings of systems or factions. However, this official stance is a misnomer. The PF wields considerable power through its web of political context, as well as application of the bounty system and control of the ship and station embedded systems. It also uses a lot of soft power by providing pilot safety support throughout human space. There are also known clicks within the PF. And here's the important bit. The Dark Wheel is probably the most famous. They have their own agendas. Officially, these are discouraged, but an organization so large, they're tolerated as long as they don't overstep the mark. So they're already basically... already insinuating that the Dark Wheel is a legitimate click in the Pilots Federation. This click, the Dark Wheel, has a presence in the system that is restricted just to the Pilots Federation. So my assumption is this Dark Wheel is the real Dark Wheel. in Arsenal. Actually, I'm at the wrong angle to do this, so I'm not going to do this right now. I'm going to get away from the gas jet. Let's do this.
so there is a hidden station in orbit of the eighth moon of a gas giant that is the original station of the dark wheel there is a eighth moon of a gas giant in Shinar Tredesra that is controlled by the dark wheel obvious assumption therefore is this is the moon the same question so where is the station now obviously you can't just find the station and presumably you actually have to be invited so that's where, that seems to be what it says now how do you get invited that's the ultimate question right that's the 10 billion credit question. I'm curious what that question is. But anyway. So. Walk on the Here's my latest theory, which is probably a crackpot theory, but whatever. So. What if we assume that also the station's always stuck on the dark side of the moon. Where would that be? Well, the easiest place to do that is what's known as the Lagrange points. So, you can basically set up stable point of orbit beyond the moon relative to there we go, relative to the parent planet and it's exactly behind it and I did the math in this specific case because you can get that um, because you can go to the map and you can look here, get the gas giant, get its information. You have its, um, there's its mass, it's 484 Earth masses, right? And then H, H is tiny, so you can basically treat it as nothing. Uh, and then you've got its orbital period semi-major axis, so you need the semi-major axis. Eccentricity is basically nothing, so you can ignore it. Anyway, you do the math, and you end up getting that it is 0 0.39 light seconds behind is where L2 would be. Now, we actually use these Lagrange points for, uh, Telescopes like James Webb, the James Webb telescope is going to be at, I think it's going to be at the Earth Sun altitude. It might have been Earth Moon altitude. I don't remember. Don't it. But it's a good place to put communication satellites or telescopes. Okay, so they're lined up right now. I'm a little too close. But this is basically it. So the planet's directly eclipsed by the moon, and I'm 0.38 light seconds off. So, let's flip her about. All right. And then... hoping you could just drop in, right? That the station would just be here. This isn't my fastest ship, unfortunately. It's a good all-around ship, though. 
So anyway, yeah. Basically 0 0.39 light seconds directly behind. And you've got L2. And you can have the station in a halo orbit around L2. At least in theory. But I haven't seen it. I'm gonna fly a little bit more. And I still don't see anything else. I do have my mouse pointer. Okay, this will make more sense here. Okay, so AB2. Can I click on that? Yeah. Alright. AB2H. No, I'll make this fly. Okay. So. There's AB2H, there's AB2. You basically go a little bit back, so it's right, right here, right? This is where, it, you know, so just make a direct line here and go 0.39 light seconds back. And it's like, it'd be like here. But yeah, I don't see it. The other option that I was talking online in the you know, Discord and the independent Raxla Hunters Discord, and they were suggesting L2 L3 as an interesting option. And so that actually is an interesting option. So that would be like you make an equilateral triangle intersecting the orbit. So you go boom, boom, boom. So it'd be like here, and then here, and that's. Actually, not L, that's L4 and L5. That's what I mean, L4 and L5. I like the idea of it being the one behind, since that makes it... Why does it think I'm over there? So you've got L2 here, there's an L4 and L5, there's one in here, and then there's one on the very f opposite end. And those are the, those are the Lagrange points. Why does it think... Oh, yeah, okay. So it's still directly behind. So I was actually coming out here this time. Sorry about that. I was actually coming out here this time to look at L4 and L5. But I figured I didn't actually record this. I just took a couple screenshots. Might as well take a second look. Here's where I'd like it to be, honestly. I'd like it to be L2. Because then the, the whole dark side of the moon thing, right? That'd be cool. Last it's not. The whole dark side of the moon thing, why I think that's a good option is because that's supposedly uh, David Braven's favorite band, so it seemed reasonable as an assumption that. And we know there's other Pink Floyd references all throughout this game. So I thought that'd be hilarious if they if he did that.
And yeah, I don't see anything. So here's the other problem you have. Um, you really can't see the stations very far away at all. I played around with Jameson Memorial, because that seems to be the same sort of station that we're talking about. You had to be 400 kilometers in before it appeared. And the problem is, is I can only get really to 0 0.38, you know, I can get to a 0 0.01 light second accuracy, which is about 3 million meters. So, no, it's, yeah, 0 0.01 light seconds is 2,997,925 meters. So, yeah, 3 megometers. 1,862 miles for those of us blessed enough to be American. Um, but yeah, I need to be within 400 kilometers, and about the most accurate I could get is 3 megometers. So, yeah, roughly 10 times outside of the accuracy I need to be. So, what this tells me is that maybe even if I'm 100% correct and this is where it is, I'm not going to see it. Turn this up. Frame shift drive charging. closer, but like I said I could be as accurate as you could possibly be and it really doesn't matter because it just can't get accurate enough I don't know if it's doing it yet yeah it is doing it yet here's the other thing that's annoying You'll notice, already in this time, the moon's moving to the right. So, the Lagrange point's actually like, kind of like, you know, <laughs> even in just like this last, whatever, five minutes or something, like, just sitting here talking, it's been moving way too fast over me. So it'll be on the orbit line of H, 
but it's a, forming an equilateral triangle. So what does that mean? That means that the distance to H, the moon H, and the distance to the planet itself, maybe two, will be identical. You're making an equilateral triangle. The distance between the moon and the planet and you makes an equilateral triangle of all sides the same. So what is that number? Let's go back to the map. Let's go H. H. It is how far out? Semi-major axis is 0.04 AU. Which is what? In light seconds. Um, let me grab my calculator. Five million. Is that right? Five. Yeah, five million nine hundred eighty-three thousand nine hundred and sixteen kilometers. So that's five thousand nine hundred eighty-four. Let's say megometers. Oh. Uh, at that point, we're going to be in light seconds, actually. Yeah. Um, so that's just under 0.02 light seconds. Wait, is that right? No, that would be a lot more than that. That is so two nine nine seven nine two five meters divide two meters. No, I didn't do that right. Five nine eight three nine one six kilometers divided by two nine nine eight kilometers. There we go. Nineteen ninety five light seconds. All right. I need to get nineteen ninety five light seconds away. Stay on this line. I did my math right. Which I'm not sure I did. <laughs> Actually, I'm almost certain I didn't do that right. Let me think about this again. Let me. Let's not do math. Let's just measure. So I will go to the moon. Which is right here. This is pretty close. I'm going to cheat because I don't want to do math right now. And then 18.5 light seconds. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. So it'll be 18.5 light seconds. Curve. So we've got the orbit. 
orbit line. 18.5 light seconds away from AB2H, which will also be 18.5 light seconds from AB2. And when I'm there, I can actually correct it a little bit. Okay. Although, like I said, because of musical reasons, I'm more willing to believe L2 than L4 or L5. Six, eighteen point five. Okay, let's just drop. Here's where this is going to be the same problem. I just can't get accurate enough. So, like, even if I was exactly where I need to be within this accuracy, right? Like, it looks like I'm going to be 18.5 and 18.6 at the other, or vice versa. I'm as close as I can do with the level of accuracy they're giving me. I just can't get close enough. So anyway, 
So what do we do? I don't know. My next theory would be... Free shift drive charging. Here's my next theory. Four, three, two, one, engage. If it is one of these two points, and like I said, I prefer L2, the bridge point L2, behind the moon, what's going to happen is, I suspect they're going to have ships going to it. Heat dispersion plate, heat dispersion plate, more cylinders. Do I have any? I do not have any. Collector limpets. Cargo scoop deployed. So, hardly. Need my materials for my engineering. Anyway. Cargo suit retracted. Free shift to drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. So, yeah, that's what would be my next assumption is start following ships. Start following the ships. Start. Working with their station. Their main camp or. Pilston Arsenal. And just from now on, if I check in stuff, it's going to the dark room. 
that'll be good. Archaeologist, an environmentalist, a political writer, a journalist, a judge. Some politicians. American. Financial advisor. the environmentalist. Dennis Peelston. Oh, I actually didn't realize this was ringed. Jay has rings. That's nice. Maybe not the environmentalist. I have trouble associating environmentalists with arsons. Orbital flight engaged. Pick this one, maybe. I just wonder who Newman is. Alfred A. Maybe. <laughs>
Just doing missions for them, maybe it would be a good idea, if you're interested. I'm going to sign up, talk to you later.